November 29, 2018 Jeff Spicer, Getty Images She is known for her dramatic roles in major television and cinema projects, including The Crown and First Man. But Claire Foy showed her funny side in the new teaser for this week's Saturday Night Live episode, which she is hosting for the first time. In the clip, the British actress is seen engaging in an epic food fight with SNL cast member Pete Davidson, after he played a prank on her and told her it was a tradition that they did with every host. Pete, 25 started the hilarious battle by throwing a powdered donut in Claire's face, but the 34-year-old quickly retaliated with a huge handful of spaghetti. As reported by the Daily Mail, the whole thing escalated when the brunette beauty threw an actual whole pizza like a frisbee at the hunk's direction, immediately knocking him off his feet. After that, Claire showered Pete with whipped cream, an entire bag of popcorn followed by lots and lots of lettuce. Ariana Grande's ex-fiancé then dug his hands into a huge cake filled with cream and threw the delicious treat at the actress, but it was Claire who was the undisputed winner of the food fight when she mercilessly chucked a glass of chocolate milk at Pete's face. The whole thing came to an end when Pete's fellow SNL cast member Heidi Gardner walked in and demanded to know what they had done with her lunch. All of this is your lunch? The Crown star asked. Yeah. So you owe me $413, Heidi said, after which an innocent looking Pete told a shocked Claire, pay the woman. Foy who plays Queen Elizabeth II in the Netflix drama about the British royal family, has recently starred alongside Ryan Gosling in the movie The First Man, but her latest role is that of Lizbeth Salander, from The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, in The Girl on the Spider's Web, a part that has already been played by the likes of Numi Ripas and Rooney Mara. When asked about the chance to play a darker character, Claire said she took on the role for the fun of it. I'm not really in it for anyone else but myself, really. The only reason that I played that character was purely for myself and for the challenge. I loved her as a character, she told GQ. People try to pigeonhole her the whole time, and the point about Lizbeth is that she works outside the realms of how people want to identify themselves in society. If people say that she's an emo or something like that, or that she's a punk, even that doesn't do justice to the complexity of her," she added. She doesn't identify with any group of people. And in that way she is incredibly non-judgmental. She doesn't judge people at all, which I find so refreshing. 